Hi friends, welcome to my channel Tech Talk 101 ST. As we all know, one of the fastest memory is the RAM. Now today I will tell you guys how you can turn your RAM memory to disk. You can use that disk to run any application, game, task, and as RAM is one of the fastest memory on your system, so the data process will be much faster than your hard disk or even your SSD. In simple words, we will learn how you can run RAM as a disk. First, let's see how to do this. Then I will also tell you where you can use it. Okay, so to use your RAM as a disk, we need a third party tool. Now there are many paid tools available in the market, but I will show you guys a free tool that you can use. Go to Google and search for I am disk toolkit and download from any of the website that you are comfortable with. Now, as I've downloaded the zip file, when you extract the zip file, there will be a folder by the same name. You'll see install.bat file over there. Now you have to double click and run, run that. After running the installation.bat file, setup will begin. Now check all the boxes as I've done here. Now when you press install, Within seconds, as you can see, it will be installed and you will see the shortcuts. Now there are three shortcuts over there on your desktop. Now we only need the configuration, run RAM disk configuration and it should open I am desk. Here you can choose the size of the desk according to available RAM you have. Like I'm providing two GB. Now choose from available drive letter and checks will remain and then click on OK. You will see there will be a new disk created with the space that you assigned. You have to click on the OK to mount that device, then exit that window. Now, as you can see, a RAM disk will be created with the drive letter you selected. Now, I have hard disk as well as SSD and a newly created RAM disk. So now let me test the speed of three of them. To test the speed, I'll download Crystal Disk Mark. It's a portable tool. I'll open the tool in three windows to run the test at the same time. One for my SSD, one for the hard X, and one for the RAM disk. Now, as you can see, C is my SSD drive, D is the hard drive, and Z is for the RAM disk. Now, when running the speed test, as you can see, SSD is above 1500 Mbps. Hard disk is nearly 140. And the RAM disk is near about 4400. So, as you can see, it's near about 30 times faster than your hard disk and nearly 3x faster than my SSD. This might differ regarding to your SSD, hard drive, and your RAM speed. Now let's see where we can use this RAM desk. But before that, let's see how RAM works. We all know RAM is a volatile memory until current is cut out to the RAM, it stores data. So when your computer is running, RAM stores data until we shut down or restart our system. Now RAM disk works the same way. So whenever your system is running, you can use RAM disk, but when you shut down your system, RAM disk will be wiped clean. Now, where you can use this RAM disk? The programs or process that are disk heavy utilizes disk speed. We can use RAM disk to get a smooth experience like video editing, rendering, compiling software because you need fast data processing. Sometimes while handling large database, our system gets hanged or don't work properly. We can utilize RAM disk to handle those large data. Now also, if you want to work uh, with temporary files, like you want to test a program or check it data, or don't want to store it on your system, you can use RAMDesk. You might be a developer or just want to test the software. Using RAMDesk, it will give you the best speed to run and test out the software smoothly. Now many times big media files don't run smoothly in your system or clutter after running a few minutes. You can experience a flawless experience if you run them on RAMDesk.
Now, as Ramdesk is a volatile desk, you can use it for privacy and security reasons also, as when every system is sh shut down, Ramdesk flushes all the data in it. If you play online games and your system is not giving you the proper smoothness, you can uh, use Ramdesk. Now, there are many other tasks that you can run on Ramdisk and utilize its fast speed. Now, to unmount the Ramdisk, open the configuration once again, and you will see option to unmount the Ramdisk over there. 